Some things that are easy to understand intuitively can be sometimes quite challenging to explain. For example, an angle. Do you know what it is? Do you know what is an angle? Let's start by drawing a circle. A circle centered around point O and of radius R. Let's imagine ourselves putting two points on the circumference, N and N, and these two points form an arc that we can call S. Now you realize that N O M is an angle that we will call theta. Now a little bit of imagination. Imagine you keep the angle constant and you increase the radius. What happens to the arc? Well, you can see that it will increase, right? Now you keep the radius constant and you increase the angle. What happens to the arc? It also increases. Actually, this increase is proportional in both cases, leading to S equals R theta. When theta increases, S increases. When R increases, S increases. Okay, that's good, but it still doesn't tell me what an angle is. Okay, so let's put the angle as subject. Theta is S over R. And let's look at the units, right? So we can define the unit of the angle and therefore maybe find out what it is. S is in meters. Yeah, it's a distance, it's the arc. And radius will also be in meters, it's the radius. So I've got meters over meters. Oh, wait a minute, meters over meters? That's a, that's a ratio, and a ratio has no unit. So the angle does not have any unit? Hmm. Yep. An angle has no units because it's a ratio. An angle is defined by the ratio of an arc over a radius. Well, that makes me quite uh, uncomfortable as a physics teacher because I use angles all the time. I need a, I need a unit, right? So let's define one. When would the angle be one? Well, it's a ratio of S over R. So when S equals R, theta would be one. We could use this as unit. How shall we call it? The radian. The radian is the angle which is formed when the arc is equal to the radius. Let's continue playing with this a bit. What is the angle formed when you go around the circle? It's 2 pi, right? So let's write it down. Put 2 pi multiplied by r. Do you recognize this from beginning of mid-high school? Yes, this is the circumference of the circle, or the perimeter. It comes from there. Let's continue. You know that the diameter of a circle is twice the radius. So we could plug it in here. 2 times r is d, so pi d. And if we rearrange and put pi as subject, we get a definition for pi. Pi is defined by the ratio of the perimeter of a circle and the diameter of that circle. Now, you should be able to explain easily what an angle is. An angle is a ratio of two distances, an arc and a radius. An angle has no SI unit, so we have to define one, the radian. A radian is the angle formed when the arc is equal to the radius. For those of you studying physics and that needs some support in math, especially with angles and trigonometry, I do recommend that you check out my course called Mathematics for Physics. The third section of this course deals with angles and trigonometric functions used in physics. I will post some access links in the description.
and maybe somewhere here or wherever it appears on the screen. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, hit this thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. And also, subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon in another episode of Physics Made Easy.